Hi, welcome. I'm Roxanne Glazer, Content Director here at Rolly Germ, and I want to welcome you to our Halloween Art Smart Drawing Lessons. So, we love this time of year. We get to dress up and have a lot of fun with Halloween, and we especially enjoy our drawing. We do our spooky scene where we draw a very spooky house, and we add to it a very spooky tree over here in spooky animals that go with it. Some of you will be drawing our spooky monsters or maybe this kind of monster. So we love to draw here at Halloween. And so what I'm gonna be doing in this episode is I am gonna be teaching you boys and girls how to draw a very spooky tree. And I'll tell you what, the secret, I love drawing spooky trees because there is absolutely no wrong way to draw them. Any way you draw your spooky tree will be perfect. So let's get started. So one of the things that I always like to remind our boys and girls is we are going to be using a quarter sheet of paper. All right, so let me switch over here. And for your drawing, we're gonna use not the big sheet of paper, but just fold it into fourths and you can practice drawing your spooky scene spooky tree four different times. So here you can see, we're gonna be drawing it over on the left side of our paper. I'm gonna be drawing with my Sharpie so that it'll come through and you can see it very clearly. So what we're gonna do, get those papers ready. Are you ready? We are gonna start up here at the edge of our paper and we are gonna take that, spooky lines are awesome because they're wiggly. So we're gonna make a spooky line that kinda of comes in and it will go back out. So one big spooky line. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to the center of our paper. We're gonna put our pencils down and we are gonna make another spooky line that kinda of comes in. Don't run into this line. And then we're gonna take it and it's gonna come down. So we have made the two sides of our tree. Down here at the bottom, we're not gonna just draw a straight line across because we wanna make it look spooky so we can see kind of where the roots would go into the ground. So a couple things you can do is just kind of come over here. It's kind of like a letter V. You're gonna come back in. And once you come in, you can move back down, maybe curl it kind of up. There we go. Maybe on this side it curls a little bit. Notice one of the secrets of the spooky tree is what I call the spooky lines. And those spooky lines are just kind of wiggly. So if you want to, you can have your tree that goes like that. You can have it a little simpler across the bottom. You can have a lot of those. Then we have maybe some ground here so we can kind of see those going in. So that's part of our spooky tree is the bottom of it. Now the top of it, the secret to all those spooky branches is a letter. And that letter is going to be a V, okay, like in violin. So I'm going to put this over here so I can show you how important it is. So let's look over here at our original. And what we're going to do to make our little branches up here, we're going to be coming down. We'll wiggle down like that, and we're going to wiggle another spooky line down. See the letter V we have there? Sometimes we might actually turn it into a Y. But that is going to be the key. And so what we'll do is we'll wiggle another one down and we'll kind of wiggle out. So there's another V, but we'll, you'll see little branches start to form. There's a letter V, and then I'll come down. It almost looks like a Y. So you're just going to be kind of wiggling down, wiggling up, coming down and up. And pretty soon it will turn into branches up there at the top. So let's move that out of the way and get started on our very own spooky branches. So all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just kinda of come down here in the middle and do another one coming down, almost like a little Y. And then I'll come over here, I'm gonna bring one down and bring another one. A little V with a tail, kinda of like a Y. And then I'll do one more over here, maybe more like a little V. You know, I might wanna just make a tiny one that comes here, maybe it comes out a little bit. Maybe I'll have one that comes down and comes up like that. Maybe it comes down like this. So what you're doing is you're just kind of adding in those little branches coming in. There's a little branch that comes in. Maybe we have one that comes up. In, and maybe one that goes out. 
So it's not, they're not straight lines. A lot of people say, oh, I can't draw, I can't draw a straight line. No worries. We don't have straight lines in our spooky trees. So there we've got some branches up at the top. One of the things I like to do in my spooky trees is I like to add an oval here in the middle, kind of poking, like peeking into that tree. And what I like to do inside of it, if you wanted to, you could actually add a little bit of thickness here on the side. We could put a couple of circles in the middle. Little eyeballs there. And then I'd kind of, I'd want to differentiate so I wouldn't actually color that one in black. I might switch over to my pencil to color that one in. There you go. A little bit of a, some little creature is hidden in our spooky tree peeking out. Then the last thing you want to do is your spooky tree is not going to be smooth. So we're going to put some contour kind of texture lines in it. So it has a little spookiness to it. And you'll notice if I put the horizon line behind it, it kind of shows you where the ground is. You don't want to just put your ground here on the bottom of it. And then super easy to color in our spooky trees. I like to, uh, one of the things I like to do is to take my brown and just add in my color very quickly here. A lot of times our spooky drawings are going to be um, very dark, kind of shadowy. Sinister is a good vocabulary word for that. So there we have, and I'll just do, even if I don't have the exact line drawn, let me zoom in so you can see my, how I'm adding the color here. So I'm just doing a little bit of a little rough sketch in. We've added in one of our colors of brown, and then I have a couple others. You know, I love to mix our colors in. So what I'm going to do, and you know how trees kind of have that kind of rough. We've got darks and lights there. So I'm bringing in a little more. And then you might want to bring in a little bit of a lighter color and kind of mix them together. Last thing that I love to do is I'm taking this is just my little black crayon and because this is a spooky scene I told you it's probably going to be pretty dark I like to put a little bit of our black over it, it makes me feel like I'm an artist you know you know when you look at those pretty pictures in the books and you're like oh how do they do those oh look at that I like that effect okay and so there we go I have a little spooky Spooky tree. All right, so this is our spooky tree. All right, and I want to thank you for watching our little video here. My name is Roxanne Glazer, and I am the content director over here at Whirly Derv. And I wanted to share with you because I know it is that time of year when we're drawing a lot of spooky things. And I wanted to make sure that you know how to add that spooky tree into your drawing because that really kind of finishes it off. All right, so I want to thank you so much. So keep drawing and add those details. That's what really makes your illustrations pop. Thank you so much. Hope to see you in our next video. Bye-bye.